We're not done with the mission yet. We still got one more state to go in the system. <laughs> you like tails. Anyways, hello everybody. Welcome back to my Let's Play Sonic Adventure 2 with me, Hunter Ant. Uh, mission them again for the last time. Really, for the last time this time. I don't think there's enough left in my bottle. So yeah, you'll probably be seeing Big the Cat, but like I said, I don't count his appearance unless it's in a different location. At least for the stages. So yeah, I I, uh, I tried to get up on this. Feels like we were been here before. Yeah, but it's going faster. Uh, well, this is funky. Also, I, I I think I'm missing up. Okay, you see these two artificial chaos? Yeah, they're not gonna let me get the hundred rings easily. They almost killed me. That's because they're assholes. Love them. Love I them. This. I never asked for this. He's not Eggman Jensen. <laughs> but yeah, this this someone Photoshop Eggman Jensen. Ah, <laughs> uh, peace me. Gotta have time things, right? We yeah. all. Nah, you should just run in recklessly and die. That's how I do things. Gotta shoot that door. Rouge time. And this is where we'll get the rest of the rings in this room here. There's a lot of rings in this room. By the way, funny uh, Hunter can attest to this. If you ever have me on your 3DS friends list, if you get swap notes from me, it's one of two things: a stupid picture or puns. System alert! System alert! Yeah, also, big wall of text saying that this lost tower is special. They're special. Also, I changed the font in mid dissolve, in mid cut because I'm funky like that. So basically. You gotta hover over here by standing on the rail that leads to the giant pit in Eggman section. Play the thing, the thing here. Make sure that shield appears. Otherwise, you didn't play it. Next, we go to Rouge's section. Font change. And because of what we did in Eggman section, a door opens here magically. You didn't kill ya! We go to the end of this hallway. Another temple. Another shield. Isn't that magic? So now, we go to Knuckles' section. At the very start, suddenly platforms. Up platforms, and there's yet another temple with a blue shield. Grab the blue shield, make sure you, it, it's there, it exists. Make sure it has properties of existence. Because if you don't... Now we go to Sonic section. You're our last chance! Now here I do a glitch. It's called breaking the timer. What you do, you spin dash into it and then jump. Now the timer is completely broken and will never, ever, ever reset. So basically, for now until the end of this mission, I am permanently stopped at 4 minutes, 35 seconds, and 85 milliseconds. Isn't that just great? Maybe Mr. T broke the game. 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 <laughs> but yeah, that's actually a speed running trick that I saw in a video, like everything else I do. So yeah, that's a tip for the future. And because of that, the Lost Chow is completely frozen. I it was no. So yeah, he's he's frozen. So he's dead essentially. <laughs> we killed him because we stopped time too hard. Where's Adam Sam? Uh, so, speed up! And I died a number of times, as you can see by the fact that I have lost a couple of lives. Maybe? I don't remember. All I know is that it's not so much actually beating the level under the time limit because they actually give you a lot of time to do it. No, it's uh, beating the individual sections under the time limit. Specifically, the. Uh, yeah, well, actually, I can't really remember what the problem with the fact that I keep losing it. And it was Tails' section. It Tails! Was, was. It was honestly Tails, probably. Or Eggman's. You know what? No, I just don't even know. Actually, you know what? In fact, this is really easy. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I don't like Tails. In this game. Gotta punch that artificial chaos in the face! Man. Also, I think those platforms have no friction. 
none. Punching none. chaos is in the face is how Hunter says I love you. That's very specific. You do realize that, right? I oh, know. I don't have artificial chaos just lying around the house. I'll sell that fucking block. What do you mean you don't? Everyone's got them lying around the house. I got a couple. Don't they punch you a lot? No. They just kind of sit in the back and stare. Are your floor's a little bit damp. Well, not in my room. I wouldn't keep them in my room. Good. Good, because that would be kind of messy. I keep them outside to frighten the neighbors and also snakes away. You have them on a chain? <laughs> no, they're not chaos on chains. Ones. Or beware chaos. No, I don't have them on chains. You don't need. To, they don't really move, so you don't get to put them on chains. What about the ball ones, though? I don't have the ball ones. We have the false skinny ones. Why are we talking about this? I don't even know. I like how all this box is like the Pandora's box from Street Fighter X Tekken. Will you cross the line? Wait, box. Yes. Whatever. Apparently he will. Oh, yeah, he said yes. Okay. Yes. That was cool. And uh, no. You know what? We're in space. Okay, I'll accept that. Also, space. hold on. Oh. This is more than half of the video. Yeah! Hope you like artificial chaos. <laughs> so, do you have anything before we get to the thing thing? The thing thing? The last... The finale. Not anything really big. I mean, like, the last thing I have is for the finale. I don't really have any other, like, funny revelations. Okay. Or, like, rage-inducing revelations. <laughs> that's... that's sad. Also, oh, you know what? Lasers and, uh, self-sacrifice is a big theme in Tales of Section. Hard mode. Cause lasers! 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 Is failing. Better watch out, cause lasers. Okay. Also, artificial chaos and lasers. Okay. And this fucker won't come. There we go. Okay, so uh, where's the switch? Where's the switch? Where is the switch? You don't get a switch. Where's the switch? Oh, it's up there, and I gotta get nearly hit by the anvil to uh, make it able to get. That's pretty great. Let's sign. And I don't think there is actually one up there. So you know what? I'm just gonna take it. That's typically, what I do in these situations. I'm pretty sure there is a way to make it so you don't get through that section without getting hurt. But I just thank it because I'm pretty sure there's a way to play a better game, but it requires me getting a different disc. You mean there's a secret disc for Sonic Adventure 2? That contains yeah, the Sonic Adventure One. You play that one instead. Uh, well, what if I want um the special 180 emblem bonus that you get for getting all the 180 emblems in this game? It's a shitty bonus. It's a piece of crap. Okay. I beg to differ somewhat, but we'll get to that when we get to that. Or it'll be a bonus episode. It is a bonus episode. The last one, in fact. Yay! So now, Eggman section starts off with two okay. kills. This is a great omen. Two things that I hate the one on the left and the one on the right. Your balls? No! Artificial chaos things that I killed. Okay. Not much to talk about, is there? It's because this is boring! And over half the video. Yes! Someone as bad as going through a dungeon you've been through before, and then being like, "Fuck, I say." Whoops! I forgot to say. I guess I gotta do the entirety of that tower again. Looking at you, Final Fantasy III. 
I fucking hate. Yeah, and I, 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 Final Fantasy 3 was literally the first Final Fantasy I ever played, and that was like a couple of years ago, no joke. The first one I've ever played was only just a couple of years ago. You should play Final Fantasy 10! <laughs> I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. I have a PS2, so maybe. You know what I like about Final Fantasy 10? The main antagonist, Sin, is a flying plot hole. I wrote like a jokey paper I still need to make a video on, where what I do is I go through the plot holes of Final Fantasy X, and it all culminates with the fact that Sin is a giant plot hole and causes all these plot holes. I'm one, well I'm not, I haven't played the game, I wouldn't, just from my standpoint, maybe not until I've played the game, I wouldn't call them plot holes, but it certainly makes things a hell of a lot confusing. And at one point I thought Kingdom Hearts was confusing. Because of all the characters and all the different names, I'm like, what the fuck's going on? And then I looked at Final Fantasy X, it's like... All this shit happens in one game? How can your mind take it? How can your well, mind... Well, they don't even develop half this shit properly. Like, But like like I said, like, what was it, um... The fact that Titus is a dream is one of the plot holes. Because it, the fact that, like, what was it, the unsent, some unsent become monsters? And other unsent become themselves. Also, fuck those lasers right there. I never explain why, like, Oron can become himself, but. Oron is other a good character! Well, like, other characters don't. Well, other people will also not become, like, monsters. They'll just be like, I'm dead, here's my body, booga booga booga. Maybe the guy who rules the underworld in the Final Fantasy games is like, okay. Alright, unsent. Alright, let's see what this one's gonna be. Re-embodiment of himself? Okay, go move along. What's this one gonna be? Oh, an XP grindable monster? How'd you go? Pretty great. So, uh, where was it going? Oh, yes. Yes, there is, Tails. There is indeed one. Uh, Final Fantasy 3, not Final Fantasy 6, which was originally called Final Fantasy 3 also. Mm, death perception. Causes death. Yeah, I think your score gets cut in half if you die and you get sent back to the checkpoint. I don't really know. It's just, anyways, um, Final Fantasy 3, specifically the DS version, which I heard from people is actually the hardest version of it. Because there is grinding galore! But the final area of the game is obviously like it, it, it screams found an area and all but you know how with most games they kind of drop where the point of no return is and where you can save and where you can like oh by the way this is the point of no return if you have other things to go back now if you cross this door you never go back Robert, Robert, Robert. Final Fantasy 3 does not mention that at all you enter the void and you can't go back the save point, the last save point, yeah! the last save point accessible in Final Fantasy 3 is at the very bottom of the tower via your ship. And <laughs> if you die in this void place, you gotta go through the entire tower, fight two bosses, actually wait, one boss, and then like go through a gauntlet of bosses, all without dying. And it's a bitch. And you have to do a lot of grinding before it. And it pisses me off because at the end of all that, the final boss was a fucking cakewalk. Lord, you better never play Persona 4. <laughs> I have not played Persona 4, but you know what Persona 4 does have that Final Fantasy 3 doesn't have? Characters! Yeah, that is very true. It. I fucking said it. And it's very true. Persona 4 has really good characters. Final Fantasy 3 has no characters. I know it was the early Final Fantasy games, but Final Fantasy 3 is. Ah! Pisses me off. It's a good thing I played Final Fantasy 4 afterwards. Exactly. I'm not a Final Fantasy fan, so it's a good thing I don't give a crap. I play afterwards. I play Final Fantasy 4. And it is actually a lot better. If you want to create some enemies? To, wait, no. I was gonna say you say you hate Final Fantasy VII, but no, that's kind of like the cool thing they hate nowadays. Speaking of, apparently they're coming out with a, 
uh, like a PC version again. Maybe like an update. I don't know. It's gonna have achievements. <laughs> that... it's, probably like a, it's probably just a, it's like nothing special, just achievements. I know. Like... Uh, yeah. Still, it makes you wonder. What exactly are the achievements going to be? Probably like you fought a monster. I wonder. You know. Kind of funny if they came up with the Final Fantasy 8 PC version and there were a couple of achievements that referenced Spoonie's Final Fantasy 8 review. I'm gonna admit, 8's kind of a guilty pleasure of mine. 8 is a guilty pleasure, and you know what? The Squall, he may be just as brooding as Cloud, but he is not even close. Well, I, Cloud don't no, start the, so that played Kingdom Hearts and Kingdom Hearts is obviously like if you played that you know everything about Final Fantasy. Well, was it Cloud only started the whole brooding thing? To be fair to him, yeah. After seven, like they only really started doing that in other depictions with him after seven. Seven, he really wasn't brooding. Well, yeah, I'm not sure how how close the Kingdom Hearts reinterpretations of the Final Fantasy characters are, but if they're if they are like close-ish, then... They're, yeah, they're, exactly. close to what they, they're, they're close to what they've been like since uh, the more recent stuff. I'm not gonna say I know everything about Final Fantasy because I play Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, but if I were to go by that alone and assume that the characters are almost identical, despite their origins, I would say that Squall slash Leon, he's actually not that bad of a guy. Was it? Uh, um, but he doesn't. The only one is really the, the only characters who are really different. Um, uh, that have really changed, I guess, when it comes to Final Fantasy in terms of, of, their, of how they were. Uh, Tifa has become less like a, a like a tough chick, and uh, Aerith has become more Mary Sue, which is funny because she was a Mary Sue to begin with. So not much different. She's become even worse of a Mary Sue. She also has a bad voice actor in Kingdom Hearts. It's pretty great. Well, it's because she's a bad character. She's like, I know computer stuff. I'm gonna make a catchphrase. I'm gonna stick this disc into a computer. Can you have? Can you guys tell I've been playing a lot of Kingdom Hearts lately? No, no, you can't. Oh well, that's shameful because you should. But anyways, uh, long story short, we're almost near the end of this video. End it! End it! End it! So yeah. It's funny we're talking about Square Enix again because uh, we started off the story by talking about Square Enix. It's because we're, we're bored. Oh, don't worry, we won't be bored. Because the next, well, I, you know what, I keep saying that. I don't even know if I'm going to be ever right about not being bored in a video. Next time. Next time will be different. Next time hopefully will be different. Next time. Next time will be better. Right, Arbiter? Also saved! And I bounce off this guy several times. And I make it! Yay! Imagine if I died there. Wouldn't that have been special? And then the LP would be ruined, you'd have to start from square one! Well, you know what would have been even worse if I accidentally did completely lose this and I forgot to edit out the footage of me going through the level again? Now that would have been torture. How about having to start the entire LP again? Or we could, uh, maybe it'll be like what happened with, uh, Tipping Forties and their Shenmue LP where they, uh... Uh, where they did like a fast forward episode. <laughs> And they. Well, I'm so sad. Tipping forties is going bye bye. Well, the the two of the guys that are. Oh yeah, they've been doing Deus Ex. I've been watching it. I where, where is it? Is it like on their site? Uh, I'll link it to you after we're done watching. Yeah, well, because it's not. It's, nothing's on their site. It's like it's it's the way. Yeah, the, I had it. I kind of. Uh, I can't remember where I went to find it, but I found it. It's weird. <laughs> I think I found it just typing in uh, Kubo's like screen name oh. that he had like on like so, one of the things before. So wait, who are the two guys that are doing it? It's uh, Ryan and it's Ryan and uh, uh, Benson. So Kubo. Yeah, Kubo and uh, Kubo and Topic Cow. Uh, okay. Well, oh God, artificial chaos. Yes. All right. So now that we've gone to this chamber five times plus. No, wait, f no, four times. 
three times. Barely made it. Yeah, you did. That's pretty great. Uh, I think we should actually explore what is actually in this chamber. Yay! Next time in the finale, which is not really the finale because I'm still going to be doing bonus episodes after that. So it's not really the finale, but screw it. Call it that. You can do those by yourself! <laughs>